Shalom and hello. Shalom and hello, sisters and saints of the Most High God. Shalom and hello. This is Sister Victory. I came across this video. I uh, do watch following Yahshua from time to time. Uh, very young, wise, wise young man. Um, and uh, I've learned a, a, a lot from just different brothers uh, that um, are serving the Father, um, that are striving to be what the Bible tells us to be. And I came across on his video this sister, uh, which is his wife, uh, one of his wives. And um, very wise sister. I was really uh, grateful for what she shared. And one of the things you ladies know that I'm always talking about on my video is uh, sisterly love. Like, um, you know, sisterly love. We don't even have just sisterly most sisters don't even have regular sisterly love for their sisters and so i i can't imagine sisters that don't even love their sisters period know how to practice polygyny i just can't imagine that 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 is just because it is so far-fetched and far removed from our culture as a people um unless we've grown up in you know africa or we uh muslim or whoever practices that as uh you know growing up as a child um for them it's probably a lot easier um because they are used to that but in today's societies um you know we uh some of us you know knew adam had one wife um uh, some of us just not used to what that looks like you know sisters rarely even get along anyway um, so to practice polygyny um, is definitely going to be difficult for you if you can't even love your sister as just a sister. <laughs> you can't even talk to her as just a sister. So this young, I was actually kind of inspired um, by what she was saying and her honesty like was just amazing to me, especially as a young woman. We seldomly see people just be honest but she's sharing her thoughts on polygyny i guess she was answering um some sisters that were saying that they did get married um they took a oath with their husband and they did get married and she's uh i am going to leave the link of this video at the bottom too if anyone would just want to go over and listen to it because it just you know polygyny is not something that you know, I necessarily was com am okay with practicing or whatever because I just have trust issues with people, especially after being done the way I was done by a church group. So, but for who, whoever y'all is calling to be able to be a part of that, some some men are better off with one wife. I mean, let's just be honest. Maybe they're not mature enough to handle that. Some men don't even work and got a bunch of different wives. And we know that's totally against the Bible. When the Bible say, if man don't work, they don't eat. And now you, they eating and feeding the family. <laughs> so out of order. But I was just, I was blessed by what the sister says, how she shares, uh, and what she was saying in the video. And I, I'm just going to listen to some of this clip with us. And I just want the sisterly love that uh, this sister has for my sister. And I hope that you sisters would desire a sisterly love. The fact that she's just not selfish towards her sister. I mean, I can't think of something more personal to sharing than, than your man. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty personal as it gets than sharing your man. So... That sister truly has a heart, a loving heart to be able to uh, speak on it in a positive light. And obviously, uh, the husband's doing something. Her head is doing something wonderful to even allow uh, the Most High to open up her eyes and see it and she receives it. Hallelujah. So let's listen to the sisters and then I will make a... Uh, opinion and a feeling myself after this. Um, so I, I put myself in that position. I put myself in that boat and in a woman's shoes like that. And, you know, that hurt me. And I was like, you know what? If y'all saw fit for my my husband to have a, another wife, and if that means this woman is not on the streets, if that means this woman 
it's changed her life. It, it, that means salvation. I mean, we say we love our brothers and sisters. You know, this can be a salvation issue. And, you know, and I start putting myself there. And I was like, I want salvation. And I, I can't imagine if he would have left me in this world lost, living and thinking the thoughts that I had back then. You know, I would have been lost. Oh, my gosh. I can't imagine because I see people today. And I'm like, dang, I would have been messed up, you know, as if I wasn't messed up enough. And um, so when I see women, and you, and you know, and, and, and they can be covered. And they can be taken off that wrong way and be guided because a man does bring uh, a lot of stability and guidance, especially a man of Yah, not any old man, but a man of Yah brings a lot of guidance and stability because he has a relationship with the father and, and the father deals with him on how to lead his house. And so, you know, if she can be guided and she can be directed and she can change and she can obtain salvation and she she don't have to live that life. She can stop her whoring or her her, her wicked ways and turn from that. And, and, and another soul is gained. Then why wouldn't I want that? Over selfishness, over envy, over jealousy, over past hurts, over past all this stuff. No, sisters, you know, we got to put that stuff aside. So to say, like, well, it wasn't a part of my marital agreement. A lot of things wasn't a part of my marital agreement. There were so many things that was not a part of my marital agreement. But y'all saw fit. That, I, that these changes happened in my life to please him. And had I not made those changes in my life, I would have been in sin. He would not have been dealing with me. You know, he would have got rid of me. In fact, because he don't need me. I am not the end all be all. He can get another woman who will be glad to be obedient to him. So, you know, we have to stop uh, uh, coming to the father in pride or and say what we're not going to do. You know, we need to learn what's our, uh, our our issue, our issue is, you know, like what's really bothering us, what's really hurting us so we can be healed, so we can heal from that, so we can move forward and, 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 and be the wives that we need to be. And, and if Yah sees fit, be the sister wives that we need to be. Have that uh, a loving, kind heart to say, you know, to your sister, you know, you need a covering too. And, and, and be that way. And if your husband does not want another wife, because some sisters, you know, they understand that it's biblical. And their husbands are not interested in it. And so be it. If your husband is not does not want polygyny and y'all family is fine the way you are, then, then okay, you're not in sin. Hallelujah. Bless you. You know, that's fine. But that doesn't mean that that's going to be everyone's um, uh, 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 lifestyle, you know. Um, y'all may call for certain men to be polygynous. Y'all may call for that for that family. And if y'all calls for that for that family, you know, you want to be there. You want to make that. Um, you want to be humble about it. You want to make that sacrifice. There's a lot of learning you have to do. Yes. You know, you may not even know how to be polygynous. I'll tell you, I don't know. Uh, you know, it, I don't have all this experience. You know, I have experiences. I have family. We have uh, brother and sisters in the way who are polygynous. And, you know, I, I've heard some beautiful stories um, even this past week, you know, of, of a family that we are, you know, a loving family that's polygynous that, you know. That wow. <laughs> Wow, this sister said a mouthful. Um, and and you did hear her say that everybody's not going to be called to be polygynist. Um, every man is not responsible enough to be lead. Some men can't even lead himself down the right path. How he gonna lead a family and 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 some more women into destruction, into a ditch? So. Uh, hallelujah and kudos for the women that are loving enough towards one another and sisters loving towards one another to be able to uh, have a polygynous family. Then kudos to you, hallelujah. Um, and and kudos to the ones who the man just want one wife, cause not it's not a commandment, you know. Uh, we all the main thing that the father talks about is peace. Seeking peace with all men. Now, me as a woman, I said I would come back and give my opinion and my and this biblical facts as well. When uh, Abraham never asked for a wife, <laughs> Abraham never asked for a second wife. He had Sarah. That was his wife. He never asked for a second wife. Uh, Sarah presented that to him. Okay, Sarah presented that to him, and it was Hagar. And see, that's the thing and that we have to be so careful of. And you pray that if someone is going to be polygynous family, pray that that is not a husband that's getting a woman after lust, but he's a wise man. He's a, a righteous, holy man. 
that he's considering for the better whole for the whole unit of the family and it's not just fulfilling his lust of his eye pride of his life and lust of his flesh because then you bring destruction in your home um obviously this sister is speaking well and so hallelujah um obviously my brother brother chris is doing a good job hallelujah and this and you see the video was like five years ago so anyway uh I, I just want to speak on Abraham when Sarah Sarah presented the situation to Abraham to take Hagar to give him a child. That's how much she loved her husband, that she wanted to see what the father, the heavenly father said, that he would have a, a nation of children. And she wanted to see his seed come forth. But sometimes as women, we moved out of our, out of our own emotions and feelings and we put things in place that end up going bad and wrong because we didn't wait to seek the father. Um, and that's my, that, I guess what I, only thing I have to say about polygyny is, uh, if someone is going to do anything, do it right. Like that's what I'm about. I'm about, if you're going to go to hell, go to hell. Right. I can't say that about my daughter. She went out this world with a blast, a bomb, a firecracker. She she lived her sinful life. She lived her life. She didn't I can she was not a hypocrite. She didn't have one foot in the kingdom in the church and one in the world. She lived her life in the world. I, I give I, I, I give I I can't give credit to sin. Let me definitely make that disclaimer. I can't give credit, won't give credit to sin, but I will say this. The Bible says, I'd rather you be hot or cold, but if you look warm, I'll spit you out of my mouth. She was cold. She chose the world, okay? We got saints, so-called saints, that one foot in the world, one foot in the church. You know, he gonna spool you out. He don't appreciate that. <laughs> so with this polygyny thing, my, my, my thing is, you know, if, if a sister, if a man approaches a sister to be a second wife, third, whatever wife, first of all, sisters that's considering this man, see what kind of man he is, what kind of brother he is. If he wicked, you don't want to join no wicked household, wicked man's household. First of all, secondly, um, you definitely want to consider getting along with the sister wife. See, it's sad. Sisters can't even get along. You know, some of these, I know a sister that just fall out with it. Everybody she come in contact with. Then be beat up a couple times. You know, I mean, just fall out. It's you. It's your spirit. Your spirit need to change. And, and this sister just sleeping with different brothers, different men or whatever. And you, cause you, the Bible said, when you lay with a man, you take on a spirit, you know, stop and get yourself right. Die to your sins, clean yourself up before you trying to add yourself to somebody's household. That's what I'm saying about a sister. If you want to pra practice polygyny, clean yourself up so you can be an asset to someone's house. You don't want to go in this, this first wife then built her house up. She then made her house built up. Hallelujah, she built up and stood by this man and then you bring your raggedy behind and they're tearing stuff down. Get right. If you, for those sisters that want to practice polygyny, learn to first love a sister. Learn to get along and keep a relationship with your sisters before you try to get one with her man. Shalom.